Well, as you probably remember, Andy is working on an FJ Cruiser project vehicle. And he's done a few things since the last time we saw it. Andy, what, uh, what all did you do? It looks a little different. Well, besides being absolutely filthy from testing, we have done quite a lot of work since the last time we were here. If you remember, we had already installed our BFG tires and our wheels, and we had put in a lift kit, but we didn't put in a suspension system. Currently, we're working with Swayaway to install coilovers and rear longer coils and bypass shocks in the back to allow for a lot more articulation off-road. That makes for a much smoother ride than, than previous before, and it allows the FJ to go even farther than before. So it's able to leap tall buildings in a single bound now. That's what we're looking for. Okay, now as I promised Mike and all of you that are watching, I was going to turn up the wick on this FJ Cruiser. Well, we did that by installing a couple of things that make the vehicle better for off-road use. We didn't do anything that was going to detract from the ride or the performance or the handling. We only did things that would assist or help for off-road use. That's important to know. One of the things that we did was we installed an all-pro bumper which houses a Ramsey 8000 winch. Now, I gotta tell you, I had to use a shoehorn to get this winch in here because it's not really designed for the Ramsey series. We found that Ramseys work better off-road, they run cooler and they pull longer, so this is what we wanted to go with. Now, the big thing about this winch is, and I don't know if you can see this through here, but this is a synthetic rope that we're using. 25 pounds lighter and it, it doesn't create as much stress on the winch itself. Now, we had to use a Hawes uh, fair lead so that it's nice and smooth instead of a roller style so that we don't kink and, and tear the rope. That's important. Now, as you can see, we've got some big Wheelan speakers on here. Now, Wheelan supplied all of our emergency equipment for lighting and for sirens because, as you know, we're building this for off-road search and rescue, homeland security, and law enforcement. This is the way to go. These are 200 decibel sirens times two on the front of this. These are the brand new Wheelan TIR3s. These are strobes, which are really, really bright. And we'll throw those on a couple minutes, but we're gonna have to wait for the camera to back way up because it'll definitely overexpose the iris. Now, we haven't done anything under the hood yet, but I did put in a call to our friends at Air Raid, and they are sending us a cold air system for it, which will allow us to get about 12 horsepower and about 15 foot-pounds of torque. And we'll be installing that also. That is a truly driveway job. Come on inside, I gotta show you this cool stuff. Now, Rescuing people is nothing if you can't find them. So we called Lawrence and we got them to send us one of these brand new units. Now, don't be fooled by the label on the front. This has a lot of prototype equipment in here. And the really cool part about this is that even though it has a hard drive, it allows you to sync up and install custom maps using these smart cards. So you can save a lot of information or program in a lot of information to find. Now. We spent a lot of time on the road, so I installed a Sirius radio system. And the suspension really made a big difference when traveling down the freeway. We had to install a slightly larger tire. We only went one size over than stock. Stock is 32, these are 33. So we didn't want to have to worry about gearing, fuel economy, or anything like that. That's important when you're building an off-road vehicle that you have the proper tire size for articulation. Now the other thing, you're gonna have to come up here and take a look at because in our last episode we had a different Gobi rack. Well, we called the friends at Gobi and we said, hey, we need your help because we're gonna be installing a police light bar on top. Can you build us something that'll work? And they said, absolutely. So based on just diagrams, measurements, the guy at Gobi, who was absolutely phenomenal to work with, built us this custom rack to house our Liberty Light Bar from Whelan. Check this out. All right, this is a brand new LED style light bar from Whelan. It is only two inches tall. This is very streamlined and it allows us to keep a lower profile so that when law enforcement agencies need a patrol vehicle that is actually an SUV, they can still park it in a garage. Well, this one fits in my garage back home, even with the remote control door opener on top. This is important stuff. The rack is rated to hold 350 pounds. The guys at Gobi said, go ahead, load it up. Well, I can't imagine putting more than 350 pounds up here until I'm up here, but still, it's nice to have. The antennas for both the CB radio and the Lowrance unit are back here also, protected by the overrider bars. 
Now you can see that we also have an air dam on the front. This is actually a metal air dam that Gobi supplies. So even if something was to be able to be kicked up, it won't shatter like the plastic ones. This is really nice because it keeps a lot of the airflow over the top of our lights and it gives us a, a, a lot less noise inside the cab. For those law enforcement agencies out there that want true stealth, the Talon is the way to go. Three suction cups and a cigarette lighter plug and you can pretty much put it in any vehicle. So if you're using multiple vehicles for your job, that's definitely the way to go. LED, you can see it from all over the place. And it's got 11 strobe patterns that you can choose from just by pushing a button. Well, I think you'll agree the things that Andy's done have made this FJ even better than it was before and quite a little wild little machine. We're going to keep up with it as he keeps doing things over the next few months and we'll keep you up to date.